we are back with Crash Bandicoot 4. And uh, enough talking, more playing. We're gonna do Smokey and the Bandicoot first, then I'm gonna do Eskimo Roll, and then I'm gonna do Fahrenheit Frenzy, and then we're gonna take care of the other levels. So, yeah. You got Tiny, Dingle Dow, Entropy, and Engine, and Cars. <laughs> Ah, oh, man, I don't travel. I really don't understand what Traveler's Tales were trying to go for. The Jeep doesn't even. Here's the thing, though. The Jeep doesn't even control that bad. It doesn't feel too bad, but it does feel loose and a bit sloppy. Uh, I hope I don't have to like repeat any runs on this because I am not trying to repeat any of this at all. Also, off screen, I got more lives. I wish this nigga would get the fuck out of the way. But yeah, off screen, I got more lives. I wandered the Senate like a couple of levels. And, uh, just got more lives. Now we're sitting at 75 lives, which is pretty dope. Uh, who is this? Is this Entropy? Or is this Engine? I think it's Entropy, but this nigga better get out the way. Because we trying to win. Nobody cares about you. Get out the way. Please get out the way. Holy shit, dude. He's not supposed to be up in my face, like, all in my face like this, like... Get out of my way, dude. Like, you're trash. Oh my god. Please, just get out the way. He is not winning. He is not winning. No way was I letting him win. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That nigga is tripping. What the fuck, bro? Nah, that nigga was tripping hard. Okay. Let's take care of Eskimo Roll. And after that, we're gonna do Fahrenheit Frenzy, which will kind of be like the thumbnail of the video. Because uh, I do like that heli helicopter pack thingy that Crash has. Ah, oh, man. This is nowhere near as bad as the other, like, ball level that's coming up. Like, I think that, I think it's in the fourth or fifth um, warp room. I'm pretty sure it's in the fifth, though. Oh, yeah, Tiny and Entropy and uh, Dingle Dow are also, like, level hazard characters for this stage, which is... Pretty god darn annoying. Oh shit, we fell down. Fuck. Ah, there it is. There it is. Alright. Let's just go around. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I'm going to have to take my time with this level though because the camera is so ass that you don't even know when you're going to fall down into a pit, unfortunately. Oh shit, we got nitro crates over here. We got penguins over here. Take my time, let's be a little slow, let's not rush down. Let's get that extra life though. Now we got 76 lives. Li uh, lives, which is dope. Oh shit, Dingle Dow right there shooting fire. I'm glad I hit that checkpoint before the penguin got me. I would've been really upset. Alrighty, I think. Ah oh, fuck. I wanted to speed my way through. Damn it. I still can't speed my way through though. Dingle Dow got us again. Dingle Dow got us. I was gonna say Dingle Dow got us again, but he didn't get us before. Shit. I guess that's what I get for being impatient and rushing in. Let's wait for him next time. Okay, now we're good. <laughs> Damn, man. What the hell was Traveler's Tales thinking, man? But, I'm gonna stop questioning it, and I'm gonna just keep playing! Oh my god, oh my god, I was close. Holy shit. That was fucking close as freak, man. Damn. You guys should be glad. Like, there was actually some people that were kind of upset at the fact that I did this Crash Game series thingy before anything else. But what you guys kind of don't understand... Like, there's a reason for everything, and my particular reason for this thing... For me playing Crash 4 before Crash 3 or before Crash 2 is because I can't believe we missed the crystal. But it's mainly because of the fact that this game is fucking hard and I want to get the hard game out of the way first. Now, mind you, I'm not gonna do every single Crash Bandicoot game on the series. I mean on the channel. I'm not doing every Crash game. Let's just get that out the way. I know some of you want me to do Titans of Minor Reunion, but uh I'm still thinking about it. I'll think about it. I'm not really keen for doing for, for doing a series on 
those two games in particular, but um, I don't know. I don't know. And that includes Nitro Kart and the GBA titles as well. But uh, yeah, so let's head over to Fahrenheit Frenzy, which is actually a pretty dope level in my opinion. I don't really mind it too much. You got Pyro here running his mouth. I swear, I feel like Pyro's name is like almost inspired by Spyro's name because, you know, the Iro in the name. But yeah, here we are on Fahrenheit Frenzy. This level is actually not too bad. Um, I'm going to try to 100% it. Depending on how much time we'll have left like in this episode or whatever. I'm not going to waste too much time on this level, but uh, yeah. Because of this level, I'm not really... I don't really hate it that much. I actually like how the helicopter pack thing controls. It's kind of very... It is kind of similar, or it practically does control like how the jetpack does in Crash 2, which is pretty dope. Uh, I got used to the inverted controls. Damn it. Fucking died. But yeah, I got, I've kind of gotten adjusted to the inverted controls. They don't really bother me too much, actually. Uh, people tend to shit on this, but I don't think it's really all that bad. It's only bad when you don't know what you're doing or if you're just never gonna get adjusted to the type of controls that this shit has ah uh, okay we're okay we're breezing through so far which is ironic because this is a hot level not too much breezes going through we're breezing oh shit watch out for this all right we made it only died once in this level good good just keep it that way Ah, okay, okay. Thought we were gonna die, but we didn't, thankfully. Look at these two. Forgot we had the double jump. I almost forgot. Take care of him. If I could get down, holy shit. <laughs> what the heck? Okay. Let's just keep sliding. Let's get this life. Yo, we're about to have like 99 lives by like part 4 or part 5, I swear. Holy crap. Okay. Oh yeah, and we got this little invisible. I always thought this was cool. I wish this came into the series more, but it didn't, unfortunately. Holy shit, we made it. I didn't think I would make that. Does this stage have a... I think this stage does have a bonus. I might do it. I'm not too sure though. Aw, oh, damn. The tiny bits of fire got me. Yeah, I don't want this episode to be too long. So I'm not gonna 100% the level. Sorry for those that actually wanted it, but I don't really care anymore. <laughs> Oh shit. Damn. Alright, so we died like three times total in this fucking level episode thingy. Sadly. But there's still time and room for improvement. Like right now, we're breezing through. We're going back to where we left off. Watch out for those damn things. Watch out for this guy. We're living, we're living. I died again. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna just cut that shit out. Alright, we're back. We're back to that part that pissed me off. That's all I had to do. All I had to do was jump over it, but I was too dumb enough not to do it. Sad, I know. Also, I went, I, I, I uh, I, I went on the bonus stage to get more crates, because I, ju I just said, fuck it, I'll 100% the level, because why not? Let's do it for part three. All right. And we are practically done with this level. Let's just take care of these other crates and then we'll be good. Let's get this crystal. Let's get this invisible crash bandicoot thingy. Ah, oh, we made it just in time. Ah, that was perfect. Oh, you got these guys throwing their little water balloons. Or chemical balloons, whatever they are. Oh damn, even after going to the bonus stage, I didn't want to percent the level still. Well, that sucks. But, not gonna let that disappoint me. Or discourage me in any way. Let's head over to the gauntlet. Actually, no. 
let's over to, let's head over to tsunami let's get that level out of the way and then we'll end it off with uh that one level and then we'll take care of crunch's boss fight so yeah i don't know if you guys know if you guys even noticed but coco's levels take place like they have like a chinese type setting or japan or japan type setting which is i'm not saying it's a bad thing but it's kind of odd how she only has that thing while meanwhile crash has a variety but the only like the only way like how i can see uh like why she has like a karate theme type of theme in her levels not karate japan theme uh within her levels I think it's because of the fact that she knows karate. That's that's honestly what I think. Oh shoot. Aku Aku Invincibility. Let's go. It's lit, dude. Coco Bandicoot with freaking invincibility. Oh yeah, and she also rides the scooter trying to escape from the tsunami and we just fucked it up by dying. I'm so fucking mad at myself. Oh yeah, and if you hear anything in the background, that's just the fucking guy cutting grass or some shit. I don't know what they're doing outside. My neighborhood is crap, so don't even, like, mind it, really. Just pay attention to the game. Alright, make sure we don't die at all this time. We got this. If we gotta jump, then we'll jump. This is possibly, like, maybe, like, one of the only vehicles I don't really mind in this game. Because it controls well. Pretty damn well, actually. That guy almost hit us. We almost hit that guy. Wow. I got every crate in that part. I just didn't do the bonus stage. Alrighty, got like 90. 55, yeah, I did horrible. <laughs> but whatever. Alright, so we're done with Tsunami. And now we're gonna head over to the Gauntlet. Which has the song, well, the soundtrack of that level is the song I rap to in my 2016 year of Crash Rap, which is, which is dope. No, I'm not gonna, shut up. No, I'm not going to rap over this as I'm playing the level, that's just too much. <laughs> I would, but nah, I don't feel like it. This level is actually pretty dope as well. Bum, 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 bum. That's not even the theme I was just humming. I don't know why that popped up in my head. Probably because I have my TV muted because I don't want to like have any sync syncing issues when editing this video, but whatever. Oh crap, that was close. That was hella close. Uh, thank goodness for my quick re uh, quick reflexes because otherwise I probably would have been dead. Yeah, we're going to finish this level quick. Then we're going to take care of Pyro Crunch. Watch out for these hammers. They mess me up. Watch out for this ball. Oh shit. I really don't know what they're doing outside. I really apologize if you hear any of that. I hope you don't, but you probably do. And it's okay if you do. Well, it's not okay actually, but yeah, you probably do hear it most likely, but whatever. Oh shit. There's actually a glitch in this level where you could like get glitched under the stage. It's really weird. I can't really describe it. My only way of showcasing it to you guys is, well, if I showcased it to you guys, but I'm not going to do that because that's going to waste time and I want to get the series finished. Yo, how many lines we got? We got 81. Now we got 82. Now we have 83. That is fucking wild. Oh, shit. See, that's one thing I hate about this shit. This fucking, like, this level in particular. Like, they try to trap you into going into the bonus stage. Like, it's clever, but it's like, dude, what if I don't want to do the bonus stage, you know? It's fucking stupid. But that's just a little pet peeve. Nothing really too serious to actually complain about. It's just... It's just me. Nobody else. Ah. I don't really gotta waste my time on that. Slide under that. Jump all the way over here. Okay, now you got the swinging ball. Swinging ball spike thingies. You got these things. I don't know what those are. I do respect T-Tails for what they're legitimately trying to do, but if you're just going to keep throwing Nitro all over the place, then... Man, you guys are just disgusting to me. Holy shit. <laughs> I want to brighten up, though. This game is very colorful as well. 
I don't even, do I even need any more lives at this point? I really don't. I'm just collecting what I see, really. And we got Aku Aku Invincibility. So we're not vulnerable to anything, really. We're just, we're free now. We're free. We get to do whatever we want. Let's get this extra life, because why not? Ah. We are monsters right now. But now the power has ended. Oh, shit. That was close. Holy shit. I would have got fucked up. Woo. But we made it. And now we're going to head over to Pyro Crunch's fight, which shouldn't be too bad at all. I'll be able to beat him quickly. That's like one of the easiest fights in this. Crashes to ashes. <laughs> Did I say asses? Holy shit. I meant crashes to ashes. Ah, the triumphant hero crash. Reduced to a pile of smoldering ash. Let's finish this. <laughs> what the fuck, yo? Yeah, here we are on Crashes to Ashes with Crunch Bandicoot's third boss fight. This one's pretty lit. No pun intended, but I actually really do enjoy this one. It's probably one of the most interesting ones out of the five. The last one, this one, and whichever, what, what else? The, uh... Okay, it's this one, and then it's, um... The last one, and then it's the fourth one that we gotta deal with, which is like the windy one. We got the elemental name for that one. But yeah, he's still throwing rocks at us. It's not gonna take as long as it looks. Bah, 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 bah. I really like this theme. I'm only jumping because I'm paranoid. There's actually gonna come a point in time, like in this boss fight, like one of the phases is him throwing the rocks. And they'll, uh, they'll like split in two. It's kind of scary. And then they'll like be this point where he's so cheap that he'll just drop tiny rocks behind you. And you probably won't even be able to see him because you're probably directly behind him, like center and everything. And it's going to screw you over. That's what screwed me up back in the past, like when I was fighting this boss before. But it doesn't really do that much anymore. Now, this is the part where the. Oh, wait, no. Is this the part? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was right. Okay, this is the part where the. The, the rocks split into two. So you gotta be. Oh my god, I got. Oh my god, I'm so scared. Holy shit. <laughs> but yeah, this is the way you gotta be super careful. Okay. Now we're about to beat him. Let's just watch out for these damn things. Oh yeah, they move this time too. Okay, we got him. Holy shit. I was kinda scared. I'm not even gonna lie. I was kinda scared. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, so now we got the Death Tornado spin. Again, Crash should just automatically have these abilities, but I guess just get, getting them again is just not a bad thing, I suppose. I ain't gonna worry about it, but we are officially done with this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed part 3 of Crash Bandicoot 4. And, oh yeah. Cortex! Why is that mindless marsupial still collecting those crystals? Yeah, there's music playing in the background outside. I really hate this neighborhood. It's actually fucking garbage. But besides that, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Crash Bandicoot 4. Uh, let me know. Uh, just let me know what your favorite part of the episode was or what you like about this game in particular. Because I would like to see you guys discuss about it in the comment section below. If you like this game, that is. If you don't like this game, uh, just politely express yourself. Don't be too aggressive because you'll trigger other people and it's just going to be a mess in the comment section. I don't really like that. But yeah, I'm done talking. See you guys in the next part. In part four, we'll be taking on these five levels in the fourth warp room segment. Deuces.